It's the last fixture of round 13, a long-awaited Melbourne AQ against 1-0 FC. And the kickoff is just about to come away here in the Sirius Futsal Arena in Thomastown on a very frosty Wednesday evening. I'm Han Solo and I'll be bringing you all the action here inside Sirius Futsal Arena. As Melbourne IQ looking to kick things off here for the final match of this round. And already on a start that was. Good defending, finds possession, goes wide to Ambo. And Ambo, Mammy Ambo gets one of her first touches of the evening and it results in a goal. So first goal up for Melbourne IQ. And the deadlock and the equaliser is right there for 1-0 momentarily just got on the right hand side of their goal and into the near post. Now it's equal one goal apiece for each team. Almost loses a foot as well. Still a Nissan applying the pressure but the last result and the last point of play was Melbourne IQ and Maya Makovsky comes back on board for the team and scores their second goal of tonight. So it went from trailing by one goal to now leading by one goal. Here's two. So quick to get into position here, Melbourne IQ. No need for positioning. Sacking the guy. What a cracker from range, from all the way back. The floodgates have opened for Melbourne IQ. She just took it on her, upon herself and decides to take a crack at it. Why not? If you're from that position, bring in the confidence. Makovsky on the scene, and now Jaina Bennett. And she's lurking there in the left side. Lays it off to Markovsky, gets her first assist. And Maya Makovsky gets her second of the game. 1-4. One 1-0's had enough. They've caught a timeout, and we're going to take a short break. Plenty to come right after this. Sawa. She's all day got there instead. Attacking the guy, takes a strike, and she gets her second goal of tonight. Second the guy, just went all alone, found the goal, and just pinpointed it where it needed to be. So the counter attack is on for Melbourne IQ, and it was good pressure. Even though they're leading by five goals. Markovsky. Oh, that was sweet. That was spicy. If you're having KFC, have that in a bucket because Maya Markovsky, she's got her hat trick. And all the tricks out of the bag for Melbourne IQ. She is one player that is just so good in front of goal. In the near post, saved there by Lorray Sandy. Counter attack is for, from Easton, but they just couldn't find room to move. And there's a whistle for the half time. It's Melbourne IQ 6, 1-0, one, 1. For 1-0, one so already a critical player for the Eastern side. is Jaina Bennett, there's a cut back that they need. Jaina Bennett connecting with Maya Mokovsky once more. That was a second time where Jaina Bennett assisted Maya of a goal. Jaina Bennett already... Showing why the transfer from Carlton to Acu is the, probably one of the best decisions she'll probably ever make because now she's moulded in to the game plan and the tactics side ball for Kostabas. Markovsky can she be dangerous? She could be lethal. And she can score. That's her fifth. Welcome back to Sirius Futsal. Maya Markovsky. Dominating in the goal scoring for Melbourne IQ tonight. Starts to go for the throw this time round. And Linda Sale got a foot on it last minute. Rebecca Ye couldn't get a clean possession. And Linda gets her first. Eastern FC finally find a connection. And Linda Sale, the connection is right. And it had to be pinpoint. She gets her first goal. Volley it off. Sacking the guy, makes her way back on the court. Lays it off to Ambo. 
there's Jaina Bennett. Jaina scoring her first goal for Melbourne IQ. A well-deserved first goal, and it was a team goal. All the way back, and welcome to Melbourne IQ for Jaina Bennett. Long throw from Rebecca Yee in that flick through from the guy to Ambo and finds a very open Jaina Bennett. Four losses. And Ambo scored the first and now she scored her second. Eastern FC have caught a timeout, a crucial one. Let's take a short break, break and we'll see you right after this. Last year in a game like this where things aren't really going their way here, Eastern is sacking the guy straight off the timeout. Scores her third. She's on a hat trick. What a response straight from the timeout called there by Eastern FC. And no time wasted for Saki Nagai. This is the movement we like to see from Melbourne AQ. As Evangelia Parthamos, talking about making it look too easy. She finds her first goal. It's just the movement of the ball and for Eastern FC. Throw in towards the D. Giselle Day got in there, but no, the turn was brilliant. And number 16, Conto, finds her second goal of tonight. That's the confidence. Eastern, first game of round 14. Melbourne Evolution and Melbourne IQ is up against Noble Park. What a fixture it's going to be because it's Northern Phoenix. Back in the game where... Kasabas, Diana finally got her name on the scoreboard late in the game just to close off this final game of round 13. 13 goals to three. A 10 goal difference between these two teams. There's the final whistle of round 13 and very fitting, Melbourne IQ scoring 13 against Eastern 1-0, scoring three.